Temenos, Nagaro partner for banking growth in Romania and Poland. Digital engineering enabler Nagaro and banking software company Temenos have signed an agreement to develop Temenos country model banks in Romania and Poland. ULEND agrees for four British pounds BLN financing deal. ULEND, a global finance platform, has finalized a private securitization deal with JP Morgan, a major financial services firm, and Castle Lake. GFT Technologies agrees to acquire Sophos Solutions. Germany-based GFT Technologies has announced its agreement to acquire Colombia-based Sophos Solutions, aiming to solidify its presence in Latin America. BOA and HUM Treasury respond to CBDC consultation. The Bank of England and HUM Treasury have issued an official response to a consultation concerning the digital pound. Torpago partners with Marketa. U.S.-based card-issuing platform Marketa has partnered with Torpago and SunWest Bank, a renowned entrepreneurial business bank, to launch SunWest Visionary Card. Finastra's Laser Pro integrates Nugent's loan origination system. India-based Nugent Software has partnered with UK-based Finastra to augment loan origination and integrate lending solutions with the latter's Laser Pro platform. Sunbit closes a US$310 million United States dollars debt warehouse facility. US-based financial technology provider Sunbit has successfully completed a US$310 million United States dollars debt warehouse facility led by City and Aries Management. Unzer launches mobile POS solutions in Austria and Luxembourg. Germany-based payment processing provider Unzer has rolled out its mobile POS solutions in Austria and Luxembourg. Lightspeed Commerce launches new product features and upgrades. Canada-based Lightspeed Commerce has announced the launch of a combination of new product features and upgrades that aim to support retail and restaurant customers globally. TransUnion launches dark web monitoring service. TransUnion Hong Kong has announced the launch of its new dark web monitoring identity protection service, intending to protect consumers' identity and personal data. U.S. falling behind peers on CBDC progress, warns think tank. The United States' slow progress on central bank digital currencies is seeing it fall behind the likes of China, India and the European Union on the future of money, warns think tank the Atlantic Council. Payable, secures European EMI license. Payable, one of Europe's leading paytechs, today announced that it was granted an electronic money institution license, EMI license, by the Central Bank of Cyprus, which will be passported throughout the EEA. Guava Pay adds Apple Pay. Guavapay, a fintech company that has recently launched My Guava app, today brings its customers Apple Pay, a safer, more secure and private way to pay that helps customers avoid handing their payment card to someone else, touching physical buttons or exchanging cash and uses the power of iPhone to protect every transaction. Visa opens applications for second cohort of Africa Fintech Accelerator Program. Visa, a world leader in digital payments, announced that its Africa Fintech Accelerator Program is now accepting applications for its second cohort. UNSER rolls out MPOs in Austria and Luxembourg. The payment company UNSER has expanded its business activities and launched its POS solutions in Austria and Luxembourg. COHO moves ahead with banking license application. COHO Financial Inc. COHO, a leading Canadian fintech company advances into their next phase of securing a banking license in Canada. Rikami Islamic Digital Bank receives approval to launch in Pakistan. Rikami Islamic Digital Bank, RIDB, 
obtained a no-objection certificate, NOC, and in-principle approval, IPA, from the State Bank of Pakistan, SBP, to establish an Islamic digital retail bank in Pakistan under the licensing and regulatory framework for digital banks, the framework. Middleware levels the playing field for smaller banks. Middleware has emerged as a crucial factor in the banking industry, enabling small and mid-sized banks to offer the same level of services as their larger rivals. As Javelin strategy and research analyst Matthew Gaon defines middleware, two primary forms have emerged to work with banks. API-based middle layers and integrated platforms as a service. IPAAS. Gaon's new report. Coexisting in payments. How middleware forges alliances among smaller FIS, core providers, and fintechs, examines the role middleware plays in today's payments landscape. Gaon discusses not just the key players providing the middleware services but also how the smaller banks benefit from a more level playing field. Middleware puts smaller financial institutions in a better position to handle alternative payment methods, such as account-to-account -account payments or different types of instant payment rails, Gaon said. Garanti BBVA launches request payment feature. Turkey-based financial services provider Garanti BBVA has launched the request payment feature through its mobile and online banking services. CGI signs a service agreement with the National Bank of Canada. Canada-based CGI has extended its partnership with the National Bank of Canada for another 10 years through an extended service agreement. GuavaPay adds Apple Pay support to My Guava. UK-based fintech GuavaPay has implemented Apple Pay support into its My Guava app to offer its customers a secure and convenient payment method. Kurdistan International Islamic Bank adopts Azencio's IMAL software. Kurdistan International Islamic Bank, KIB, has integrated IMAL an Islamic core banking platform from Azencio Software. BitPay Report. XRP's 42% rise in payments. A BitPay Report released in 2023, has shown that XRP saw a notable increase in usage for payment transactions on BitPay, with a 42% rise in transaction volume. CFTC seeks comment on iUse in derivatives markets. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission's Divisions of Market Oversight, Clearing and Risk, Market Participants, and Data and the Office of Technology Innovation today issued a request for comment, RFC, to better inform them on the current and potential uses and risks of artificial intelligence. I, in the derivatives markets the CFTC regulates. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.